All right, so this is Indy. I'm at the Keto Sports booth, and uh, we got a little sample here. What are we drinking here, Indy? We are drinking our brand new exogenous ketone product, Keto Blitz. It has uh, half the mineral load of other exogenous ketone products and 12.9 grams of BHB per serving. And I hear it goes good with tequila. Is that true? Um, yes, it's definitely so true. So tequila, keto, keto But yeah. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. Cheers. All right, cheers. Good taste. Not bad. Taste. Pleasure okay. meeting you, Andy. You as well. Thank you. All right, so we got Danny, we got Logan. We've done podcasts. We're gonna do a podcast. Pretty soon, the guys. Keto trio right here, I guess. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, buddy. <laughs> and Ross and uh, they have these f bombs. It's basically just, I don't know, y'all describe the product. Just macadamia and butter. Well, we don't have them in big pouches like that. Yeah, it's for special people. Yeah, right? special people. <laughs> We've got a line of oils, but what we have here are nut butters based on macadamia. So dry roasted macadamia nut that we grind ourselves in our own facility. We pack them every day so it's nice and fresh. And High fat, low carb, and yeah, I think pretty tasty. Absolutely delicious and like perfectly in line with the keto macros. I mean, everybody loves macadamia nuts, and this is like the most easily convenient way to consume that. So I'm a big fan of them for sure. So it's a pleasure meeting y'all. Oh, thank you. Pleasure Absolutely. meeting you too. Nice to meet it's an you. honor. Thanks for coming by. Plus, I love their branding. It's it's red and black. Keto <laughs> Savage is red and black. It's like perfect in line. Match made in heaven. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm here at the Peely Nut. Is that how you say it? Peely? Yeah, Peely. Peely Nut. Yep. This is Jason. Good to meet you, hey, Jason. Hey, nice to meet you, man. And uh, talk about your product a little bit. Yeah, so this is a sprouted Peely Nut from the Philippines. Uh, you know, it's a, it's kind of a funny story. I was over kite surfing in the Philippines a few years back. I found these things, brought 10 pounds of them back to the U.S., but we'll skip that whole story. Uh, just started selling them, and here I am. Uh, it's I call it the world's healthiest nut. It's highest fat content of any nut on the planet, lowest carbohydrate of any nut on the planet, highest magnesium of any nut on the planet. I can go on and on. These are sprouted, they're wild, so they're better than organic. No pesticides, no fertilizers. They're coming from the jungle, uh, the certain region of the Philippines. Uh, and they're hand shucked, we'll hand harvested. We'll just, yeah, that's yeah. great. They're like all hand, hand done. All done by hand. And what's crazy, so like this whole pouch was what, an ounce? Uh, it's 52 grams. This is weird with it, but it's, it's the actual calorie count in here is just under 400 calories. 400 calories and two, one, two, two. To, the bag is, is total of uh, less, just under two grams of carbs. Less than two grams of carbs for an entire bag. That's like, I mean, you can't beat that. You know, you can't beat that. It's keto as it gets. So that bag is uh, five servings at 210 calories, so over a thousand calories, and there's a uh, little under five grams of carbs. Yeah, I would eat that whole bag. <laughs> yeah, it'd be all, it'd be lights out, lights out. But but just go ahead and show, show the audience some of the uh, some of the different flavors he's got here. So that's this my is, original flavor that people, everybody wants to copy. That's uh, coconut oil, Himalayan salt. This is turmeric with black pepper. We just changed the recipe and added more black pepper. This is the old recipe. These are the actual nuts right here. This is a machete. They actually, uh, they actually chop each one by hand with a machete. It's crazy. So this is a raw peely nut. If you look at the skin, if you look at the skin, it's called a testa. So they call it the Philippines. That's the nut on the inside. Does the raw taste any good? Like is it that one's bitter? not that great. You see the color of it. And this is the issue. People started selling raw peely nuts in the U.S. like six years ago. You can't tell if the nut is good until you open it up. Ah. So what happened is a lot of bad nuts got sold and people got a bad taste in their mouth about peely nuts. So it's, what, how do you know if it's a bad nut? It should be nice, white, clear color. Like, um, you look at this one, I just chopped that open. It's got a more white color. It's been sitting out for a day or two, but uh, you want a nice white color. If you look at some of these, these are older nuts. That one's okay, got a nice color. You can try, Let me it. try it. Raw yeah, yeah, try it. But you, like I said, you don't really know. I 
still pretty good. Yeah, but if you look unique. at see the color of that, yeah, a little darker, a little darker, not as good. Um, and then what are the other two flavors here? Yeah, so this is a raw cacao with coconut sugar. It's a touch of coconut sugar. Not as popular. People love them, but not as popular with the keto crowd. This is my second favorite. And that's uh, uh, spicy chili. We use a local Filipino chili called Saling Labuyo. Uh, it's a little small, like Thai chili. Really spicy. We use uh, a little bit of that. And you can kind of make this as spicy as you want. You can eat the chili flakes and make it really hot or just eat the nuts and it's not that hot. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. We well, do have peely butter that's coming out in like, like two weeks. What are the different flavors here? So this is, um, I, you know, I haven't even named it yet. We're working on the label right now. It should, hopefully it'll be done this week. But uh, one is just a regular peely butter. One's got a little bit of 95% uh, cacao. We've been working with this company, Curacao Chocolate. And that's where that came from. They got this really nice, really nice chocolate. Yeah. So if people want to find and buy some Peely Nuts, where they go? EatPeelyNuts.com. EatPeelyNuts.com. Yeah. Really easy to remember. Uh, Peely Hunters. We used to be hunter gathering natural foods. We just transitioned to Peely Hunters. I like so, it. Yeah. I like it. Because we're kind of the original. We were going to all these places, these jungles, and they were people couldn't believe that we were there to buy Peely Nuts. I'm like, why are you here? And I was like the original kind of white guy to go down there. And, <laughs> so we just did the Peely Hunter thing. I like it, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is something cool that I've been bringing along and showing people. Oh, you make those too? I don't make these, so they make these in the Philippines. And what this is, it's pretty cool. It's a cross section, just uh, so people can see. It's a cross section of a nut that they chopped open. It's so cool. Yeah. So cool. Well, Jason, appreciate it, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Thanks likewise, for coming by the Check it out. here with Anthony. Good to meet you, Anthony. Scott Alpha. And uh, this is Dry Farm Wise. I know a lot of my clients are always asking me about what can I drink on keto. I haven't drank since I started keto like three years ago, but they have come out with a keto-friendly wine. So just tell us a little bit about that. So it is keto-friendly. All our wines are sugar-free, low in sulfites, and low in alcohol. Uh, and you might ask, how can they be sugar-free? It's grapes. It's, there's sugar in there. Uh, it's when the grapes fully ferment let them for, uh, ferment fully and therefore there's no residual sugars. We also like to keep the sulfites low. There's a lot of additives that commercial wines add into it that are going to make you feel like crap afterwards. It's going to give you the headaches or some of the sinus reactions that you might get from commercial wines. And then low alcohol because alcohol is still a toxin but we kind of want to limit that. But yeah, they're not going to interfere with ketosis. Uh, we do regular blood testing. Dr. Dom D'Agostino promotes us and he's done uh, blood testing to make sure he's remaining in ketosis. I personally had a bottle in a night and woken up in ketosis. So I put them to the test myself. Uh, biggest thing you can take away from this is they're hangover free, healthy wines that you can fit into your lifestyle and you don't have to give it up. I like that. I'll be getting me a bottle for sure. Appreciate it, Anthony. No, Alright, so here I am with John and Christy. We got Tokalau coffee and uh, it's got MCT infused. I guess just explain it a little bit. So it's got C8 and C10 MCTs in it, uh, organic coconut milk, and then it's organic coffee all in a K cup. So you don't have to mix anything in. Uh, you can just put, put it in any Keurig 1 or Keurig 2 compatible machine, and it comes out exactly like that with everything that you need in it to start your day uh, with a healthy dose of coffee and MCTs. Yeah, I mean, like we're all drinking keto coffee anyways. We're always adding this stuff to it, but it's infused naturally anyways. And it's in a to go K cup. I mean, it's keto on the go, no problem. So it tastes really good too. I'm a fan. I'm like super humbled right now. He flew from London to come to KetoCon and like meet me and the, the message we're sharing. Like, that's freaking awesome, man. I respect myself and uh, two of the partners over there. So, yeah. That's, that's mind blowing to me. So, yeah. we're going to get in touch. We're going to get connected. He's got big visions for the UK. But nothing, nowhere to go but up. Nowhere to go but up. There's a lot of people in the UK who are getting into keto. Um, obviously, it's a 
Bodybuilding is huge everywhere. Um, it's, it's starting to get there in the UK in terms of using keto to shred, whether you're in competition or not in competition, whether you're using it for performance, whether it's bodybuilding or whether it's CrossFit or other you know sports like that. So um, we're excited because we know it can go a very, very far away. And I'm yeah. really proud and honored to have met you and your wife. Um, and we really look forward to working with you in the future. Absolutely, man. Fantastic. I appreciate it, brother. We'll be Thank in touch you. for sure, man. Definitely. Cheers.